Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jean Fox. This is an American and his party have taken to Tarzan, see the escape of Jane's father. Tarzan starts toward the cannibal crowd that effect to rescue, Tarzan effect to rescue, Tarzan weird, unearthly shrieks. Hold your breath! Hold Say much more of that. I need it, Professor. I cannot explore it. We know that there is a place excepting ourselves. And the rest of us have made up the noise of being made by some mechanical living things, by some mechanical living things, by some mechanical living things. You will doubtless recall scenes which emit the appear sound of sunrise. From a cold air, you mean, Professor? Perhaps. But I think was created by a human earth, was created by a human earth, it's anything but human. It is not any reason for it. I had thought that I was trying to warn the whole thing. But it hardly seemed as likely that even he would dare to raise the taboo that the whistle doctor has invoked about this cave. The day when he found himself in the cave up, convinces me that he knows so. Perhaps we need to escape. Well, to lend us so do we, but we know the exit behind us. Very well. You know, this is this same witch doctor here. Dash uncomfortably out of the English, setting about the ground, coming out of some tiny in the red face, steady, please, steady. Feeling any better? Some, a little. I'm still shivering, though. Uh, sit my coat about your shoulders, slammy, rotten hole. Damper the cellar. Well, shall I have another stir, monsieur? You can jolly well wring the flag of neck for all I care. Uh, do you really feel that your method will get us any information out of the witch stuff? You throw the other end of the cave. I bet no objection. Hey, for you, Bishop, I talk. Oh, you my God. I, 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 I'm not about to talk with this trip. Pity for that filthy paper. A goo goo. By a matsuri. In shadow. Stop, I thought. The amp, the amp. Stop. Picking up at the feet. All right, let's go. Some of the Chinese torches, young folks. But the police saw the hippogree showing the journey of the souls through the nether world. Have you noticed a certain one of the carvings? It's just here, Lander. But I do hope no. Dano is a very decent fellow. I'd hardly consider that his or that he's healed any other old duty with him, Sir Lander. He is prime. And I suppose that childlike people understand. You know, run, Sir Lander. Let down the passage. Advances rapidly but quietly on the black standing by the sacrificial. The black to turn. He sees Tarzan and speed. The ape man leaps forward. His strong, steel like fingers grip the black. Tarzan wraps his legs about the warrior as they roll over. Now Tarzan is on top. The black struggles. He... Tarzan gets to his feet. Back. He pulls a burning brand from the earth's hut. Sets it alight. Toward the stockade. Pauses as he's on. He picks up a stick. Now... Jane looks down, rising from the hut. Sees Tarzan beating the. Big drum pops. Tarzan! Tarzan! He's been on the other side of the tree! Tarzan leads the gum. Quickly, he swings himself leisurely into the tree. Flashes upward while the dumbfounded black... I, I wonder, Tarzan... Do... Little more high. Yes. Careful, Tarzan. Oh, I know you never... But you know I'm not accustomed to believe. Now. Yes. Oh, I can hardly look. Why? We're way over a hundred feet above the ground. Yes. Oh, yes, Tarzan. They do see the fire. Listen. Soon, Storm and Jane go cave? Cave? Yes, they'll go to the cave. If the blacks find us here, well, kill quick. Storm and Ganny, no shoot arrows here. No, I don't suppose they can see us. But if they did... Go now. All right. Down from the tip of the tree, Tarzan and Jane flash. The brown and green of branch and leaf pass Jane in a mixed blur. Now they're in the upper jungle terrace. And only the occasional glimpses of light between the giant trees indicates to Jane their speed. So steadily and surely does Tarzan make his way. We, we must be nearly there now. Our master came. Men, go away. Fire. Look, cave. You can set me down. Yes. Now, Jane, give Tarzan hand. Go quick. Oh, no. Oh, I, I can't run. All right. I do hope nothing has happened while we were gone. Black man, go inside before... No go inside after. I suppose that's right. If they didn't go in to begin with, there's no reason why they should have gone in afterwards, is there? Look. Look, Jane. What? What are them? No more cave. All water. Cave gone. I can't see anything but water. Where's the opening? Opening gone. But Tarzan, an opening can't move. Black man move big stone in cave. Tarzan, you mean... Yes, you're right. 
The blacks have rolled a big rock right across the entrance to the cave. Tarzan, no can move. Of course not. It must have taken ten or twenty men to roll that into place. But, but father is in that place. Closed in that place. Closed in. Oh. Tarzan, no can move. Tantor, move quick. Yes, I can leave daddy in there. We can't. Call Tantor. Tarzan raises his head to call for his friend, the elephant. He stops. He sees a pair of gleaming eyes staring at him from the brush. A movement, black arms raising a bow fitted with an arrow. Quickly, the ape man sweeps Jane to him. With a leap accurate and graceful as that of an impali, he gains the top of a pile of rock that breaks against the wall of rock. Tarzan reaches above him, grasps a slender branch. It may not hold the combined weight, but it's his one chance. Right over the heads of the blacks who were hidden in the brush, they swing in a dizzy, flashing arc. The branch folds. Tarzan's arm shoots out. He grips another stouter limb, quickly mounts the jungle vines toward the sheltering dimness of the lower jungle terrace, and they disappear. Inside the damp, spacious temple cave of the cannibal tribe, Darno and Clayton lie back exhausted from their efforts to extract any information from the black witch doctor. Porter and Philander, returning from their exploration of one of the side passages. Have you been able to get anything out of him, Darno? Practically nothing, Major. The constantly reminds me that this cave is filled with the departed spirits of brave warriors of the tribe, and that they are too lot of compound rubbish. No good reason goes, but the witch doctor could. Well, I thought you had been in little severe with him. I assure you, they wouldn't do any good. Simply not, monsieur. If we kill him, even though we are established as yet a worker in the eyes of the tribe, we can all aim rather naturally on the frame. But the frame is crazy. We have been left, monsieur, for all time. If I was all superstitious, not so. Nonsense, at least. But doesn't it give you a... I know it comes from some place that was just down there. And we thought, perhaps you missed something. Rooms were very damp. Thank but I hardly see where that is. Down there. Yes. So, what have we done? Oh, no, Why? Why? To escape. What will one cry? Will Tarzan be able to summon Tandil's party before the aunt in the cave?